in the future, if there were some really strong studies done that showed cat like diet soda caused cancer, it would put into question what I do for myself and where those limits are. Now, is there anything even close to suggesting that right now? Absolutely not. Same thing with energy drinks. It's like this prolonged QT and stuff like that, does it potentially put into question in the future maybe where these limitations are of you shouldn't have more than this for this amount of time? Fine. That just don't go too far in one direction, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just, it's the all or none. And it's like, so for me, again, it's just in general, is there any data to suggest if you have one, maybe two of these a day over an extended period of time, does this show any damaging effects? No. No, and I think you always have to bring in this conversation too, that every person is different. And mm -hmm. that is why medicine is interesting and that's why it's complex and that's why it can be challenging because you may metabolize caffeine different than the next person. Thank you.